Hello my croutons, and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we'll be taking a look at heroines of swords and spells. Let's get started. First things first, this music is freaking amazing. I'm, I'm literally, my head is bopping. I'm hyped to go kill some goblins, you know? Uh, the, the title screen art's fantastic. Uh, I, I love the customization here, it's really exciting. It, the game's got great reviews on Steam, and I'm excited to hop into it. Let's look at the options, default options, not much going on here. Oh yes, uh, I'm not sure what this is. I believe this is Russian, I'm not sure. Uh, this game does have a full English translation. The developer said it was professionally done. Um, I'm not sure how good it will be, uh, but I do know the developer's first language is not English. So I'm gonna try to enunciate what I'm saying a little bit better and not just rush through everything that I say like I normally do, like go on incoherent rants. Uh, probably won't happen, but we'll see if I can uh, manage that. Let us hop in to the game. Wisdom is an attempt to reconcile real life with a childhood dream without betraying it. Once upon a time in a faraway world so different from ours. There's a really abrupt cutoff in music. Hey, anyone home? I was told to come by midnight. He's a kitty. We're dealing with a magic man who can close doors by, you know, a flick of his hand and light the braziers on fire. Braziers, yep. Thief's Guild, alright. Thief's Guild. It's me, Diana. Don't you recognize me, Master Boris? Oh, gods! Youngsters these days. Can't you just be a little bit more dramatic? Whoops, sorry. Let's start it over. I'm Diana. I came here to become a member of the Thief's Guild. So, you're, you're trying to say that you're worthy of the great honor of joining our Thieves' Brotherhood. Yes, I am. Brave words. How can you prove them? But you train me yourself, Master Boris. There you go again. Whoops. I mean, I'm worthy. Test me. I actually really like the uh, character's face graphic. It's most it's it's really close to the RTP, but it was slightly edited. It looks really nice. I'm not sure how much this music fits with the scene, uh, but it is good music nonetheless. What you what say you, Master of Shadows, Magister of Shadows? Start the test. The mapping is a little boxy. Hold it, Magister. First of all, we must arm the rookie, Diana. Open the chest in front of you. The guild prepared a small present for you. Yep, that's not really a hint, that's more like controls. Uh, move the character, open chest, interact, uh, default controls, alright. Wow, a real thief stagger. Consider it your advance, we don't have so many candidates that we can let you go unarmed. But the guild doesn't accept just anyone, you must prove that you deserve it. I must warn you that the trials won't be easy, you can get hurt. I'm ready for anything. Wonderful, then. Enter the basement. We got some, uh, got some handcuffs down there. We're gonna tie you up, you know, whip you a little bit, a little bit, you know, a little fun time. Wow, a secret entrance that I haven't seen before. Where does it lead? I think she's a little bit slow. You will find out soon. Go downstairs and keep your dagger close. I don't know. The writing isn't bad. It just feels a little bit weird. Break a leg. Like I can't put my finger on it. Arm to the character. All right. Well, that doesn't make sense. Click on the right arrow. Yes, okay. Go equip the... Arm the main character is what you uh, meant to say there. Uh, I, yeah, I can't put my finger on what's off of the dialogue. It just feels kind of ch childish, kind of. I, I don't know. It's not terrible, but it feels weird. Uh, like everyone's a little bit slow when they're talking. Well, shall we start the first trial? I feel like it should be darker down here. Like, the lighting should get darker, the music should change, so it's a little bit creepier. Well, shall we start the first trial? Yes. Good. We thieves are simple folk. That's why we'll start the test with the most important thing. What do you think is the most important for a thief? Agility? No. Speed? No. Um, accuracy? Of course not. What is it, then? It's the ability to detect coins and other things you can steal. There is no point in snooping around in an empty pocket. You start by deciding what you can steal. A trained die is the first thing a thief needs. Coins and other valuable things must be found quickly and stolen quietly. You're right, Master, as always. Actually, the first task is to find money to steal. 
McGill built an ordinary house prototype here in the basement. Search every room and bring me 50 coins. If you manage to complete the task in two minutes, you'll get an extra reward. Well, it doesn't look that difficult. Literally, like, everything is shown. Unless it's not. Alright. Active objects are marked by twinkling stars. Alright, great. So, there's not really any challenge here. I just... It's empty. Ah. Oh. If you don't know how to play, just don't bang on the keys. Don't break the instrument. We have a... What? Guild numbers are so funny. Yeah, that was the peak of comedy right there. I've never laughed harder than when I read that. Money is under the mat. Hmm, what would that mean? Well, I mean, I don't really... If I click on everything, it'll just show me all the answers. So, you know, it's not really a challenge, is it? Not really much of a puzzle. It hides a badly nailed board and under it, ten coins. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ah, uh, there's some money soon in the coat lining, as Master Boris always says. The pockets of a married man are a lucky find for a thief, and the victim might not even notice the loss. Earl just think that his spouse took it, and he can't really complain about that to the guard. It's a letter. Maybe it's a love letter? Ooh. I'm dying to read it, but do I have time for that? Yeah, yeah, we got time. Uh, thank you for playing my game. I hope you like it. If you want to contact me, report bugs, criticize or pr criticism, or praise. What? I'll be waiting for you in my live journal. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit of broken English right there. Hmm, I can't read it. That's weird. The letters are vaguely similar to Rodanian letters, but I don't understand a single word. Maybe the text is written in a language from the same language family? For example, in... Okay, this is way too big of an explanation about just trying to stick in a thing to thick the player. Do I have money? I think I got everything. How many coins do I have? Oh, I only have 40 coins. <gasps> there is an actual puzzle. Oh, wait, no, it's just on the bed. Yeah, I'm just, I just can't see it. All right, I'm just blind. Awesome sauce. All right, finished, man. Good job. Good job, team. All right. Uh, we'll equip that. All right, so we're going to get in a fight now. I really hope the music changes. Nope. All right, yeah. So this is a problem with any game at all. If you play one track of music for too long, it gets really grating on the player's ears. It doesn't matter how good the music track is. If you play it for too long, it gets annoying. Uh, that's why having sound effects, uh, like, shorter scenes not you don't they don't have to be every single sheet scene is less than a minute long but shorter scenes with dynamic music or music that changes after the scene or you have music that changes during a scene so when something gets more dramatic this this music changes to be more dramatic you have to the sound design of a game is very important to keep the player's interest uh also it should definitely be getting darker as we go down especially in that upper floor there weren't any fire pits play braziers I don't know the words. I'm a little stupid. Wow, a real dungeon. I wonder what secrets these halls keep. Hi, mouse. That's a good secret. Ah, rats. Are you afraid of rats, Diana? Yeah, they're scary. I'm not. They're just so disgusting. No, don't make fun of Mr. Rat. How dare you? Brace yourself. All guilds use rats to test and train their rookies. Some consider this a tradition. Others think it's really cliche. Um... Yeah, if I'm initiating someone to my orbit, I'll grab a tiny little rat that's impossible to hit and shove it at him. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, recently brought a batch of frogless... Uh, what? That haven't been delivered yet? Looks like you, Diana, will be the last one to kill rats during the test. Killing rats? You. Unlike other guilds, the Thieves' Brotherhood doesn't encourage constant fighting. We prefer to concentrate on other things. If a thief got involved in a fight, we made a mistake, and that's a fact. Murders from the Assassin's Guild may leave heaps of dead bodies behind, but not us. The essence of our craft is to steal wallets, not lives. However, sometimes you don't have a choice, and that's why all members of the guild must learn to defend themselves. No matter how nimble your fingers may be, sooner or later the goddess of fortune will turn her beautiful but insidious face away, and you'll have to fight. Do you understand where this is going, Diana? Well, no shit, you spelled it right out for me. Ah, uh, no, it's a rat that increased in size dramatically. There were three rats hiding inside that one body? That's crazy. At least they die in one hit. That's what you should always do for your first battles. Uh, either the enemy dies in one hit or two, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. So the balancing is already on point here. What an invigorating battle. Phew, that was unexpected. How was it unexpected? He literally said it was going to happen. What are you talking about? Only tournaments begin with the sound of a horn. A thief should always be ready for a sneak attack and be the first to strike. By the way, why haven't you used a special technique that I taught you? Well, because it's lame. When you can just press attack every single time, you'll win the whole game already. That's what I thought. Don't forget to use it. It's better to make one perfect strike than to have the knowledge that you can't use. Wait. Than to have the knowledge that you can't use when things get tough. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I got it. 
Yep, learn sneak attack. Don't forget to use it in battle. Second part of the exam will test your ability to defend yourself. Find the passage to the next floor. Beware of rats. They're everywhere. Kill them if you want, but if I were you, I would not get involved for no reason. Our powers are limited, and the wounds don't heal by themselves. Every victory can turn into defeat if you don't get to an inn or temple in time. You'll find five healing potions in the chest. Use them sparingly. The main part of the temple is up ahead. I'll do my best. Good, I hope to see you safe and sound on the next floor. Climbing up is how you get down, yes, of course. It's like uh, the Cars movie, you turn left to go right, right? Yeah, this is basically a Pixar movie. Alright, Mr. Rat, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Oh, does he just not walk down here? I guess not, alright. Thank you, I love healing. Uh... Wow, these, those are the frogless types that Master Bors was talking about. Looks like the first batch is getting settled down in a new place. Actually, frogless, frog cyclopses. Sorry, I was reading that wrong. I have nothing to do with cyclops or frogs. They were called this because of their bizarre appearance. In fact, it is a special li life form, slime. I don't think these creatures are more dangerous than local rats. I can probably beat them if I ignore the master's advice. There is a lot of talking in this game. I'm not saying that's bad, but it's... Uh, most players aren't going to read all of it. Magister of Shadows, what are you doing here? Choose the lever. What? There's a red lever and a blue lever. Choose one of them. I was going to do that. Thank you. I, you don't need to tell me what to do. Is this a Matrix uh, parody? What will happen? Will I learn the truth about the secret affairs of the guild if I choose the right lever? And if I choose the wrong one, I'll lose consciousness and fail my test? Is that right? But which lever leads to the secret truth? Master Boris didn't say anything about it. Just choose the lever. It's not fair. I understood that a thief should be lucky, but at least a hint. Choose the damn lever, rookie, right now. Yeah, this is the Matrix. Alright, uh, which one was the good one in the Matrix? Uh, Alright, we're gonna go with Red Pill. I can hear a noise in the distance. Something has opened. Yep, I knew it. For I am a master. I've never watched the Matrix. Uh, so, obviously, I'm a failure, and I should be eradicated. Couldn't he just give me the potion? Why the shit with the levers? Yeah, and why the, cons why the insane amount of talking? It's so unnecessary. Alright, did this open? Is this what opened? Looks like the levers unlocked the door. I wouldn't really call that a door. I mean, not a bad animation, but, you know, whatever. Oh, now it's getting darker, finally. And the audio changed. Okay, it should have changed one scene earlier. Because uh, that music was getting pretty grating on my ears, and that was a bit of a longer scene. Not that, not that long, mind you. It was pretty well... Uh, it's, things are pretty well set, or... God, paced right now. Uh, but I would have probably had some more music cues and uh, changes in that last room. It was just a little bit grating. Glad to see you alive and mostly unbitten. Diana, how do you like the rats? They're sexy. Well, I can't come for you by saying that you won't see them again. You'll need all your abilities for the final part of the test. But first, I'll give you my last lesson. The last lesson? A thief is not a thief if he doesn't know how to pick locks and see hidden traps. You've already taught me that, Master Boris. Those, they are the basics. You can easily open ordinary... Ver? What? Those were the basics. You can easily open ordinary locks, but nobody hides anything valuable behind them. The same with traps. When did you last see an ordinary mechanical trap in a shop? Well, I see them from time to time, but merchants recommend the Enchanter's Guild magic traps. They are expensive, but much more effective. That's true, they are more effective. Those from the Enchanter's Guild know what they're doing. Their magic locks and traps are a real headache ever for an experienced thief. Unless... You learn a special technique. Fight fire with fire, magic with magic. Listen carefully, I will now teach you a simple magic spell. I mean, if they use the same trap on every single shop, just learn how to finish, how to pass that one trap that one time, and you can do it for every single shop. Like, it doesn't seem that difficult. But I don't have any aptitude for magic. Everyone has. You aren't born a mage, you become one. Everyone has a gift, though certainly of a different level. Don't worry, the spell is pretty simple. Magister of Shadows also ordered to give a special artifact to all guild members. It's the thief's badge. Here, take yours. It's like an ordinary coin, old and tampered with. Its edges are sharpened. I feel like the amount of, of dialogue here is better suited to a book. Like, almost every single text box is four lines of dialogue. And that's just... It just seems like a lot to me. Uh, like, unnecessary amounts of detail and talking that just kind of drag the scenes on. Uh, like, the, the, the detail and the descriptions are fine if it was a book where you don't have, like... You, you can't actually see what's happening. Like, I can see everything. This, games are a visual medium, so you don't have to overly describe everything that's happening. This is actually a rather well-done tutorial sequence if you just cut back on the amount of talking, because the player can see what's happening. The player can experience things for themselves. They don't have to be told every single little thing that's going on. Like in the past, in the past room, I knew to flip one of the levers, 
I was going to pick one and flip it anyways. The guy didn't have to tell me to choose and flip one. It was unnecessary. Uh, but, you know, do what you like. Of course, we could order beautiful and fancy amulets from the smiths so that the guards would immediately recognize the guild members and send them to prison right away. Then we decided to go with inconspicuous pieces of junk. I see, but how to use this artifact? Pretty sure artifacts with an eye. You will figure it out soon enough. First, let me teach you the thief vision spell. Listen carefully. I don't want to repeat it over and over. Do we have to carry a flute with us at all times? Phew, I think I've got it. Oh, it opened up a black hole. Uh, uh-oh. Well done, have you noticed anything? Oh, it opened up multiple black holes. Wow, there's a strange red whirlpool over there. I haven't seen it before. It's the aura of a magic trap, and it's practically invisible without the thief vision, and it's extremely deadly. However, let me show you. No, it was literally invisible. He just called an airstrike. So, what do you think? I think he just called an airstrike down on it. Be happy you can see them now, but still, not all of them. Traps come in different quality. Some are hard to detect even with the thief vision. Alas, there's no universal approach. Practice makes perfect. Be careful. Concentrate. Make the thief vision a part of yourself. In time, you will learn to notice the most intricate and complicated stashes and traps. But what about lockpicking? You need to learn the skill and have some lockpicks. Are you ready to practice? Sure. Good. There are three chests in front of you, all locks of different difficulty. The skill you learn will help you figure out the mechanic. Me oh my lord, there's so much talking. It's unnecessary. We are going to learn about lockpicking now. Okay. Boom, lockpicking. This is not an easy thing to wrap my head around. The best way to learn how to do something is to do it. Thank you. Show, don't tell. Stop. So much dialogue. Unnecessary. All right. Chest is locked. The lock level is 10. Okay, do we have one that is not 10? Oh, that's a 12. And that's an 11. All right, we'll, go, we'll start with a 10 then. Pick the lock. Oh, easy peasy. Lock clicking skill raises with every successfully opened lock or disabled trap. Look for special items to improve your perception scale. skill. Skill? Oh my lord, my ability to talk today was not very high. Alright, I guess we'll just go try the 11. Cool. Easy. That was really easy. Oh, okay, these footstep sounds are awful. I'm assuming you just plopped in um, Yanfly's uh, plugin for step sound effects. Uh, there's actually a much better way to do foot sounds. Uh, I might actually try making a tutorial on that because it seems pretty important. Uh, it, it's important to me at least, finding the right sound effects so it's not so grating because if this plays all the time in your game, it's going to grate on the player's ears if it's not a satisfying or, or well done sound. So let us uh, let, let's hop into let's, let's let's just continue with the game. I'll uh, I'll see about doing a tutorial on that in the future. First, open the chests and bring me what's inside. What? Oh, I have to talk to him. All right. Well done. Keep the money. Thanks. Now it's time for the ultimate challenge. The last floor of the dungeon is full of hidden places, traps, chests, and rats. Oh my lord, it's rats! Search every corner and find four of Laverna's gifts. Laverna, the greedy demoness. You can just say Laverna. And I'll be like, oh, it's this demon thing. Pretty obvious. You don't have to go into a whole frickin' explanation about it. You can leave that for books littered around the map, something else, uh, optional dialogue. It doesn't have to be... Look at this amount of exposition. It's it's ridiculous. It's, there's so much talking, and it, this is just the start of the game. Have some of this exposition in books. Player can go in, read a book, boom shakalaka. Now we know about the world. You can't give exposition about your entire game. And you said something like this was a 20-hour JRPG. You can't give an entire explanation about your, your game and its world in the tutorial area. I know you're not doing that. But I highly suggest you leave a lot of extra dialogue inside of books. And let the player get to the game. Let the player experience the game, the gameplay, the story. Okay, you don't have to do a lot of exposition. Exposition isn't the story. Of course not, otherwise the Priest of Light would have paid for us a visit a long time ago. The Thieves' Brotherhood isn't the place for ancient rituals, but almost every thief is superstitious. The guild members come here from time to time to leave an offering to Laverna. Also, Magister, oh my lord, finish with the Goddess's blessing. You'll find Laverna's shrine and four of her gifts in the dungeon, taking the shrine and your test is completed. Okay, I'll try. I've never thought about uh, thought that our guild has so many secrets. It even has a demoness shrine. She's not a demoness, she's a goddess. Priests of Light call any ancient entity a hell spawn, even the elementals. Laverna never demanded blood sacrifices. However, the Priests of Light certainly won't like her commandments. Oh my god, please don't go into conversation about commandments. Thank you. Alright. 
Much appreciated. Wait! Oh, no! Stop talking! You're very kind. You wanna fuck me? Oh, guess not. It's okay. Everyone gets rejected. Even me. I mean, I don't get rejected. I get a lot of ladies. Mm. You? Oh, cool. That's actually pretty nice. I can save the game just for pressing you. I like that. Excuse me. Just gonna slip. Ah! That actually scared me. Retreat from some battles. Oh, awesome. So I don't even have to. Oh, no. He just, he cheated. All right. See ya. See ya, sucker. Ah, he's cornered me. This is harassment. Guess I gotta do this fight then. Uh, special. Oh, after I have to have a dagger. All right. Well, guess I can't even use that then. The music's actually pretty pretty good. I I do enjoy it. Oh my lord, he does a lot of damage. Oof. All right. I gotta say the balancing actually seems pretty well done because the combat is they do enough damage that I need to use the healing potions. Well done, well done. I'm liking it so far. Lockpick, healing potion. Excuse me, spell thing? Oh, I can't get a... Do I have to just... Do I have a spell, the, a skill that I can use to... It's a trap! If the locking level's not high enough to safely disarm the trap, you can carefully activate it, taking half the normal damage. Uh, cool. Well, that was easy. How the heck do I get over there? Is there a way to get over there? Huh, no clue. Alright. Trap level between 10 and 20? I got it. Oh, no. Run, 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 run! Oh my god! Oh, that did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just reload this save. Oh, I saved back here? Oh, god. No, no. Alright, Mr. Rat. I got the juke sign in this time. Alright. Nope, I got this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we'll save the game over here. Now I don't have to waste a health potion either. Either. Lord. Alright. These rats got nothing on me. I'm too sneaky for them. 15 coins healing potion. Yeah, there's not really much about like clicking on everything. Because the only things you can click on are, you know shown to you so there's no really no real reason to explore unless you see a shiny thing hmm what are these weird bubbles uh let's throw a pebble Ooh, scary oh they're gonna kill me we'll kill the babies first i didn't kill the baby first well that's rough Yeah, music's good. Music's good. Yeah! And we keep spamming attack. And he's dead. Good job, team. I mean, me. Oh, and it gave me a healing potion? Great. Great. Alrighty. We shall save the game. He snuck, he snuck attacked me. Yeah, thanks for saying I can retreat. I already know. You already, you already told me. Or maybe, I guess in this playthrough, you didn't. I'm gonna juke him. He's not expecting it. Ooh. Oh, I put the moves on that guy. Chested locked. 16 to 22. Break it. Oh. Big rip. If I just smack it enough times, will it break? No, I guess not. Um, I definitely can't break that lock, so. Rough. That's rough. At some point, the game is too difficult, or you don't want to spend a lot of time fighting enemies. You can switch the game to story mode by, by pressing the P key. When you do, all enemy stats will be used by 75%. Interesting. Okay. 
Uh. I all right. I mean, fair having that as an option. Uh, let's save the game first, and then let us attempt to open this. Ah, well, good thing I uh, good thing I saved the game. I don't know about having that story mode. I mean, I'm gonna use it. Oh well, so you need a translation for that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep story mode on because the whole point of this first impression series is to, you know, experience the story. Actually, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. Ooh, that's so spooky. I'm so scared. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know. The, the issue is that I'm not very good at critiquing battle systems. Because I don't personally use them in my game. So. Oh well. Alright, what are you doing over here? Laverna Shrine! Gives me the creeps, really. I believe Master Boris. Laverna is a goddess, not a demoness. But it will take me a while to get used to this idea. The Magister of Shadows will have big problems if the Temple of Light finds this place or another guild building. Yo, Laverna, can you help me? Pay, uh, oh, mighty demo. Oh, mighty d demo goddess. Patroness of all thieves, please bestow your blessing upon me. Mm, doesn't look like anything has changed. Oh my, you know, fuck you too. Oh, okay. No, I want to take him. Well, oh, you're just gonna leave. stop. Don't, don't be nice. Oh, he's not gonna tag me. I didn't see any blending with the ground. Actually, I have a secret uh, thing called running away, and you're just here again. All right. What you need to do is when the player retreats, you need to like hide the on-screen enemy for a second, or like put him away or something, make move him away. Uh, because otherwise, it's just infinite loop of me being stuck, and I can't get past the guy. I don't know, the, the combat seems pretty well balanced. It's not like anything super extraordinary. Like, it's just turn-based combat. It's not the greatest thing in the world. I don't particularly like turn-based combat. Um, it's just kind of the same as every other game. But, the one area it is better than... Uh, better than other RPG Maker games in is that it is somewhat decently balanced, which is appreciated. Alrighty. I have no idea what to do. Oh, there's a switch right there. It was hidden. Alright. Don't understand. Why haven't I noticed this lever before? It's not hidden, so I'll the thief fishing got better, but... Oh. No, I'm just... Okay, we just gotta... Alright. Okay. Well, another chest magically appeared. You don't need to say that it appeared. I saw it appear. Okay, that's the issue with this game. I open this chest. Another chest appeared. The player goes on a rant about it for a little bit. Unnecessary. You can just you can just say, boom. I can see that the chest appeared with my own eyes. You can just show a little balloon icon, and, and then I can walk over there and interact with that chest. All right. No, 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 no. How am I supposed to get? All right. I just gotta walk over to this crack in the wall and just backtracking is fun. Alright, uh. What? Oh, the old gloves are worth. I have a dagger, why can't I use the sneak attack? Interesting. I will never know. Uh, let's see. What? There, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Items, how many Laverna's gifts do I have? I got two of them. What if I try talking to Laverna again? Yo, can you help me, Laverna? All right, Laverna's not very helpful. Can I do this one? Uh, I will come back to this. I will save the game. I don't know, it's a little bit... I don't know. Ah, thank god I saved the game. And the rat snuck attack me. Alright. Oh, this needs TP, that's why. Well, I can't really use TP if I don't... I mean, alright, okay, I got it, I got it, I got, I got TP. I can use it, I can use it. I mean, I don't, there's not really a reason to use it. Because just spamming attack works fine, but we might as well see what it does. 
quite a bit of damage is what it does all right nice still not really helpful unless they have it at the start of the battle but you know i think that does the game erase your tp at the end of a battle it does so you will never have sneak attack at the start of a battle all right that is not how you how you do this why would you erase tp at the end of a battle that makes no sense what what do i oh there's a chest right here all right all right, I was just sitting there. Did I not see that last time, or am I just stupid? I got nothing. What the heck else is there to do? Oh, the chest just appeared in this corner. Of course, I should have known. All right, great. Good game design. Look, it's a sign. How strange. I haven't noticed it before. <sighs> yeah, I know you haven't noticed it before. I just saw the shiny things, which haven't been there before. Yay. Uh, yeah. Good job, game. All right, Laverna, do you want your stuff? There you go. Now will you give me some help, Laverna? Hooray, I did it. I bottled, I brought all the gifts. Now I just need to ask Laverna for her blessing. Why would I not finish the tutorial? That doesn't make any sense. Wow, I'm on the second floor. Holy sh State the obvious. This character is literally just about stating the obvious. That's all she does. Wow, I got all the blessings, now I just have to ask- well, I got all the gifts, now I just have to ask for a blessing. Wow, I'm on the second floor. Wow, that's a rat. Wow, wow, things are happening in the game. Oh my gosh, the story is progressing. Wow. No, you, you don't need to do that. That's terrible game design. That's, that's awful writing, honestly. Wow, I'm on the second floor. The statue teleported me here. You are amazingly clever, my dear rat hunter. And of course, you understand what, that, what your appearance on the second floor means. It means I became a full-fledged member of the Thieves' Guild. Right, my former student. From now on, I can rightfully call you a sister. Sister of the Thieves' Brotherhood. Sister of the Brotherhood. Alright, congratulations. Er, sister. Who is this man? Who, Who is he? What is his purpose? Hooray, my dream has come true. Thank you for everything. You'll never regret accepting me. Of course, get to work tomorrow. By the way, have you found Laverna's commandments? Yes, but I did not read them. Oh, yeah, three. Right, but which one is the most important? Uh, don't steal from thieves. Magister, please come down. I'm sure that Diana will learn the rules of the Brotherhood very soon. will faithfully share what she stole. What? What? Wait, wh huh? What? Don't steal from thieves. I didn't steal... Am I saying that I stole from thieves? I don't understand what this writing is. Of course, sure, I just thought... Well, that's not important. Once again, welcome to our ranks, Diana. Streets, cities, and citizens, full pockets are waiting for you. Go and don't come back without money. I'm so happy. Hmm. What was that interaction? That was so strange. Two weeks later. Oh my god. Yep. My patience is growing thin. Get out, you damn fool. Just kick her out. We hate you, Diana. Ouch. Ouchie. Get out of my sight and never let me see you again. Please don't do it, Master Boris. I'm not your master anymore, Laverna. How could I be so blind? I spent so much time training an idiot. I'll change. You will? Well, then go right now and steal from Romelia's house. But Romelia raises three grandchildren alone. All her savings are for their future education. She has to buy medicine for little Andrew. How can I rob those poor kids? Oh, God, you're a walking headache. In these two weeks, you haven't stolen anything. Not even a single coin. The Magister will flay me alive. I try, but I didn't find any money in Leonid's house. He has a ring with a fine diamond. Yes, but this is a gift for his fiancée. I found a love letter in his house. Leon had worked overtime for three years to finally buy her the ring. Okay, this is a good character. I really would have liked to have seen these events unfold, but, you know, oh well. What about that merchant, Sabas? Regularly cheats on elder customers. He uses their kindness and trusting nature. He definitely deserves to be robbed. Sabas prays for our protection. We can't steal from him. We must also ensure that no one lays a finger on his shop. Why can't you understand this, you idiot? But, damn it, how could I be so wrong? I brought a naive fool to the guild. You knew my father. I guess that's why I did it. He was a real thief, but he raised his daughter as a saint. Diana, you don't belong in our guild. We're not noble thieves who take money from rich and give it to the poor. A thief is a dirty and treacherous profession. Do you understand? But Dad told me your daddy wanted you to think of him better than he was. No wonder he never brought you to the guild and made sure you never became acquainted with other thieves, only me. You're not like him, not like me, not like anyone in the Brotherhood. Don't look at me like that. Get out of here. You can become a nun. Take care of sick and injured. Pray for the health of righteousness. 
Go to Mother Theo Theodora. I'm sure she'll accept you as an acolyte and will teach you to honor the glory of light. Or find yourself some other occupation, but don't ever let me see you here again, understand? All this dramatic stuff is happening while there's just happy-go-lucky music playing in the background. It's basically as bad as me playing the ukulele song uh, over, you know, this whole video. The royalty for ukulele? Hmm. Please, I beg you. To make myself clear, Diana. Yes. Wonderful. Now go away and return to th return the thief's badge. My thief's badge? Give it back to me, quick. Wonderful. Now get. Go away, never come back. So what am I supposed to do now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're vibing. That's some good music. Get out of my sight. Forgive me, brother, I promise. Well, I wonder who's going to be our romantic interest. I don't want to listen anymore. Anastasia, you're a disgrace to our family. Really? Really? This is the setup for the... The gods of light teach us patience, but even my patience is not endless. This child, this is your last chance, Svetlana. Are you shitting me? I understand, Mother Theodora. Well, this is just... Wow. Uh... I got nothing. You introduce two characters in the same exact way that Diana did. That's so cliche. That's not. That's not natural. That's so weird. I don't like that. I really hope they don't become important to the story. This is a good natural way that a, that people can interact. It's, it's a bit cliche for sure, but this is this is much better. My book. He stole my book. Please, you must help me. Oh, and now we get art. Okay, that was abrupt. Ouch. Who are you? I'm Felicia. I'm Diana. Hmm, you have a strange name for someone from around here. Have you come from afar, Felicia? No, I grew up in Yonka. <laughs> Yonka. A village southwest from here. My parents are from Cornelia, but they died long a long time ago, so I was taken in. Now's not the time. I'll tell you about myself later. I need to return the book. It's very, very important. Please, please help me. I know this guy. His last name is Tuck. He's new in the guild, just like me. Guild? What guild? Thieves Guild of... Alright. I'm a thief. Thanks for, uh, you know... You're a thief? Not anymore. I was, I was uh, kicked out. The English translation's not that bad. It's, you know. There's some errors, of course, but it's fine. Can you ask the thieves to return me the book? Nobody will listen to me. However, Tuck won't bring the book back to the guild. We, I wanted to say the thieves are strictly prohibited from bringing the stolen goods here in case of a guard raid. So where did he run? Let me think. Experienced thieves usually hide stolen goods in their sashes, but Tuck is a newbie. I doubt he has one nearby. Going to the gates is also dangerous for him. Tuck could not steal from you quietly. Now he must be thinking about that. Uh, now he must be thinking that you've already informed the guard. He gave himself away with a loud scream, and he was running away with the book. I guess he decided to show off. What a fool! However, he's not foolish enough to go to the city's gate. Tuck clearly expecting to sell the book quickly. I thought he stole her wallet. I remember Master Boris once said that a merchant from Jewelgrad is staying at the coffee at the city coffee shop. He buys stolen goods. I'm sure Tuck went to see him. Coffee shop? There's a coffee shop near here. Where is it? Okay, is this a fantasy world or a modern world? The first house to the south from the town square with an orange roof. The town square. A wide cobblestone road leads from there to the gate. You and Tuck came running from that side. Got it. Hurry up. Uh, right. And now we shall... Oh, nope. Ah, help! Look, that girl's in trouble. Frog Cyclopses? How can they be here? Well, that was an abrupt interaction. Uh, alright. Cool beans. I would assume you'd have magic, but alright, guess not. I love pressing attack. It's such an interesting and invigorating gameplay mechanic. Oh, this is such exciting gameplay. I love it. I love turn-based combat. It's so much fun. Are you okay, little one? Ah, uh, I'm scared. Hush, hush, everything is fine now. Is it normal for these monsters to appear in city streets? It's the first time I've seen them. They crawled out of the well. How strange. 
that I can't pronounce that. It's the smallest city in the Jewel Republic to have a sewer. Oh my god, more exposition. Holy crap. That's it. The Magister of Shadows delivery order. Riveting story, but I think I'll learn the history. All right. Yep. All right. Can you get home by yourself? Yes. Thank you, aunties. Aunties? Let's move on. Don't dilly-dally. Yeah, let's go. By the way, if you're a mage, why didn't you use your magic in battle? I can't do it without my spell book. Ah, that makes more sense. All right. It's not that simple. I'll explain later. It's like it's not just a book. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's get through there. Here. Where? Stay close. Now I don't even get to play the game. Awesome. There he is. Ducky. What? Who's Ducky? And he went into the coffee house. I have a plan. No, he's standing right there. He's not in the coffee house. What are you talking about? He's just standing right there frozen. All right, cutscenes need some work because the characters just stand there. They don't move. Nothing happens. It's not very interesting to look at. Uh, and also, I really want to say you got everyone who's watching this video. You have to build your atmosphere with the music and the sounds. It is super, super important. A lot of RPGs do this where they just play music and that's it. That's the extent of their sound design. It does not work. It gets grating on your ears and it is boring. It's uninteresting. Have some sound effects. Have dynamic music. Have ambient noises. Have things happening. Have dynamic lighting. You need to make your game visually and audibly interesting. Uh, it's, so it's not just a flat experience. It, games aren't a book. So far this game is played sort of similarly to how a book would be read but there's pictures you're not making use of the fact that this is a game it's a visual medium you can do so much more with the show don't tell mechanic right now you're doing a lot of telling like you're writing a story and the, part of the game is a story but also a part of the game is showing the world through the visuals having the player ex interact with the game the player affect the story interact with the characters and whatnot and feel more connected to everything that's happening you need to do that through your sound design, through your graphical design. It's incredibly important, and I highly urge you to revise some of these sections so that they are more engaging audibly and visually with the player. Wait, you scoundrel. Damn it, I wanted to sneak up quietly. Let go of me, you fools. We're a good block tile behind you. I don't- what are you- what? What's happening? What was that little sequence right there where the music changed for like half a second? Donate to the nunnery, good people. Remember, light gives you bread and shelter. Be joyful, bathing in its rays. Banish sloth from your thoughts, for it is darkness itself. Be honest, kind, and generous. Thank you, us, Sivotadar, and Amalia for each new day. Out of my way. Ah, oh, watch it, bastard. Are you mad? Damn, you scumbag, you tore my robe. Stop him, he's a thief. Thief where? Damn it. <laughs> what? What is this? It feels so surreal. This is such a surreal scene. It's almost comedic. Get him. That's it. Now you won't run away. Get the book back and the wallet too. Apologize and pay the damage or I'll kill you. Um, are you really an acolyte? Do a new acolyte from the sh something nunnery. Uh, right. Diana, you went against the guild? Do you understand the consequences? I'm no longer a guild member. No wonder, Master Boris and the Magister of Shadows were clearly out of it when they let you pass the exam. Alright, girls, I don't want to hurt you, let's just part ways, and I won't have to use my knife. Give us the book and the wallet first. Alright, you can take the book, but I'll keep the money. Felicia, do- What? There's three of you! What do you mean, do you agree? Just beat him up! I- No way, we'll break your face, dumbass. Thank you. She's the smartest one. Svetlana's the smartest. Are you really an acolyte of the Gods of Light? Get some, jerk! Yeah, it's, all right, so that Svetlana is my favorite. Righty. Let's beat up this guy. Beat him. Yeah, yeah, get him. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I got the book back. What do you... I, I thought he gave me back the book. All right, guess not. And you're dead. And none of us have any skills at all, so we're going to just spam attack for this whole fight. Yay. Woohoo, this is so invigorating. I'm just so into the combat. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this is boring. This isn't fun. It doesn't matter how well your balanced your game is if it's not fun to play. I'm just spamming enter. This is miserable. This isn't entertaining, and that's the issue. That's the issue with most turn-based combat. It's not entertaining because it's just this, especially in the RPG Maker genre or engine. It's just spamming attack, and no thought put into it, and it's boring. It's not fun. 
Don't you want your game to be fun? Uh, that was really a fun game. Victory! Ouch, it hurts. Alright, I give up. Take your wallet and your book. Yay, my book! Then I have to understand that if you hand me to the guard, you won't be just be an outcast, but a real enemy of the Brotherhood. The Master will be much angry at you for being caught, but you're alright. Okay, you can go, but... Give me the wallet, you jerk! Ouch, you've already given your wallet back, along with the book. Your wallet, dimwit. Let's talk more give. And the dagger, too. What else have you got? Alright, alright. Svetlana's a badass. Your best written character. Congrats. Good job. You think I'll go easy on you, pig? No way. Take off your boots. Okay, just please don't hurt me no more. Shut up. Help. Svetlana. Uh, Mother Theodora. I swear, it's not what you think. I'm just helping these poor girls catch a thief. Is that what you call it? But he really is a thief. What I see is that you're beating and taking everything from a defenseless and unarmed man without showing even a speck of the mercy the gods bade us. He doesn't deserve it. And that's Svetlana. You went too far this time. No, I don't want to do weed cabbage again. What, I don't want to weed cabbage again? I'm still aching all over. I'm afraid this time I'll knock it off with weeding cabbage. Svetlana, I'm banishing you from our nunnery. Leave, the abode of light is not a place for people like you. What? You cannot wish charcoal white. You cannot wash charcoal white, I'm afraid. Don't do that, I beg you. What does that mean? My decision is final. Poor thing. I am banished and the music hasn't changed once during this entire scene the characters have not moved once it's frozen there's nothing of interest happening visually or audibly it would be much more interesting to be huddled up in a corner reading this book with the rain pouring outside that would be more entertaining just you know games are visual medium make sure to use that and go to hell you old hag Svetlana, I'm sick of you. Off your charters, prostrations, your endless fasts and prayers, your cabbage. Damn you and your nunnery. My amps piss in your holy water, old hag. May goddamn rabbit rats gnaw on your robe, you chicken livery shrew. And may you choke on cabbage. Oh, God, how can such a sweet young thing have a tongue this foul? Indeed, she looks like an angel, but when she opens her mouth, enough. Damn this life. Ah, dang, the pig got away, too, with his boots on. Darn. She forgot to take the donations I collected this morning. He he a lump sum to celebrate my new unemployed life. What do you say, girls? How about getting a glass or ten at Rowan Berry in the old mug? Hmm, I'm in. We need to heat our wounds for, heal our wounds first. Tuck fought seriously. I wouldn't want to waste potions. Svetlana, can you heal us? Um, heal? Yeah, I understand that you're no longer an acolyte, but you haven't forgotten the healing prayer, right? Uh of course, I remember the prayer. Though that will not leave those in need, and I am its faithful follower. Faithful follower. It's part of the prayer, don't disturb me. View. One. Yes, one. HP restored. Uh, that's it? it? It works, sure, but the effect feels lacking. Try non-existent. Well, I need practice. I've been an acolyte for only a month, but the prayer helped, at least a little. I'm afraid we won't be able to manage without potions. This is all the, This is all Theodora's fault. Never really wanted to teach me anything. Every time I made a little mistake, she sent me to the weed to weed the cabbage. What the heck does she need it for? <coughs> she even went to the prefecture asking for the permission to grow vegetables inside city walls, and they agreed. We were lucky enough so they didn't allow her to allow her to manure the nunnery backyard. The breeze is blowing right into the per prefect's window, you see. I dare say it's not about teaching and learning. It doesn't look like that. Whoa, wow. It doesn't look like that the gods of favor light favor you. Holy shit. And you, you're dressed like a mage, wearing a robe and a wizard's hat, but I didn't notice you casting a single spell in the fight. Felicia couldn't cast magic without her spell book, but everything's all right now. Um, no, I'm afraid I still can't cast spells. Why? You have the book. You see, my book is empty. What? My mentor suddenly passed away just recently. She helped me make my own spell book, but didn't have the time to teach me a single spell. So you're practically holding a paper brick with blank, bl uh, blank pages. It's not just a book. A mage will remain a mage even without a robe and a hat, but she's nothing without a spell book. Why? I know some simple magic to help me pick locks and see traps, and I don't have a spell book. This is lesser magic. It's much simpler to cast. I don't understand. Becoming a mage is not as easy as many people think. If you want to practice supreme magic, it's not enough to just learn spells, because they are changing constantly. Holy crap, there's so much talking, It's and their characters aren't moving, and there's nothing engaging, and this is so incredibly boring. Svetlana is your most interesting character. I want to read all of Svetlana's dialogue. I like her. I don't care about these two, and they're the, they're the main characters. I'm more interested in this character, and she's been in this game for one scene. That says a lot about your writing here. Alright, okay, I can't read all of this. So much talking. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I just want to see how long this goes on for. 
with no movement. Look at that, no movement at all. And look at all of this dialogue. Oh. My. God. It's ridiculous. Did she say we should drink away her sorrows? Because same, man. Oh god, I thought the game just crashed. That was such an abrupt end. And we teleported over here now. Awesome. Oh my god, shut up! Holy crap! There's no room for exploration. There's no room for exploration at all. You teleported me to the next spot in the story. You're not letting me explore the town at all. You're blocking my ability to leave. This is ridiculous. Can we have a game just about Svetlana? That would be so much more interesting. I can't take it anymore. What happened? This seedy dive called City Tavern is built just around the school's corner. Selling kids alcohol is forbidden by law. The owner of the tavern, Dionysius, convinces us that he doesn't do it. I don't believe him, but even if Dionysius doesn't lie, visitors sometimes buy kind kids drinks just for fun. I guess it was especially funny when one of the children vomited on a school flower bed. I and other parents were to complain to the prefect, but to no avail. That's unfortunate. Oh, our nunneries! Acolyte is among you. Good girl. Are you also tired of this nest of evil tainting our children? Did you come here to put shame to the insolent owner and his wicked visitors? Nah, man, I came to get drunk. Yeah! No, I came here to get drunk like a wild pig. Dude. Svetlana! <laughs> See, I like Svetlana. I like her a lot. I, I don't like the other two characters at all. I have no interest in them. In the slightest. What? Oink oink. Lana, just shut up and smile so you look like the child of light. But I am the child of light. I even know the healing prayer. What's the point? Without the gods, blessing prayers are useless. We can always fix that. Even in your case. Yes, I have an idea. But first, let's get wasted. Miss Acolyte. Svetlana, keep quiet. I'm afraid it's not in our power to close the tavern, madame. But you must find the jerk who's selling kids alcohol. I won't be surprised if it's the owner himself. Will you help me? Nah. I'm afraid not everyone understands that bigger problems in the country start off small. And they act surprised when cute kids become bandits. I'll never allow something like that to happen to my son. But not all mothers are like me. God, this is some serious care and energy right here. Alright, we'll do the tavern scene and then I'm gonna have to be done. This is the most royalty-free music I've ever heard in my life. This is the most unlively tavern I've ever seen. There's no interesting lighting. There's no movement at all. There's no balloon icons happening. There's no waitresses moving around. And there's nothing happening on screen at all. The game, this game is flat. It is flat it's a flat game it could be so great there, there's the start here to a really good game Svetlana alone is an example of how fantastic your writing can be of how great of a game you could make this but there's just so much wasted potential here it, it feels like this might even be your first foray into making games it's just <sighs> welcome to the old mug regulars and new faces are always welcomed here take a seat and remember that Roanberry won't drink itself um so should you have all right, let's see. Let's buy all of it. Yep. All right. Uh, nope. All right. Okay. I strictly forbid selling all the children. Don't think if you bought a bottle, you can do whatever you want with it. You can't. Their mothers keep bothering me, so you can't. If I catch the bastard selling it to kids, I'll personally beat them up in, and I think you'll be the worst for the jerk. You'll be banned from entering the tavern forever. Cool. So, um, now you know, she doesn't even have to... Alright, just to make this scene actually interesting, I guess I'll make the mom go do the thing. Angry woman standing at the door. I knew it! One of the customers resells alcohol to children and their angry mothers are trying to make me guilty. They can't look after their tomboys, but they want me to watch every client. I'm not a beholder, I only have two eyes. Sorry to hear that. Don't tell me. Alright, well. We're taking the neutral approach here. We're just gonna drink alcohol. No free tables. We really have to sit at the bar. There's a girl sitting at that table, maybe she can share? Oh, hey, that person from earlier who got banned from the thing and, and is going to join the party. That's Anastasia something porn star. Oh, my lord. I can't. I will never be able to pronounce that. Yeah, the daughter of the... Holy crap. Her ancestor is the war chief Arseny Strizik Topol Topolkov. I'm, I'm very American, and I cannot pronounce other languages at all. He founded our city building a wooden what the hell? He founded our city building a wooden palisade here in the days of the old empire. He was famed for valor and earned the right to add whatever to his name. His descendants still live in our city. It's exposition. And exposition. And exposition. Yes, but the coffee shop doesn't serve our good old Rowanberry. 
Hi, girls. How are you doing? Grab a seat. Let's drink together. Pardon me. Don't be afraid. There's no free tables anyway. Do you think that these stupid men will give up their tables for you? Well, of course they do. They want sex. Nope. Do you know why? Because they are stupid bumpkins. Hey, you stupid bumpkins. Can you hear me? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> the entire barn. Uh, not barn. The entire tavern turned to look at her. Oh, wow. That was beautiful. You think they'll sit at your lap and you can grope them all you want? Eh, all men are like that. For you, a woman is... Ick. That guy doesn't give a shit, though. Oh. I think we better... Wait, I threw more bottles of and berry and empty wine glasses for my friends. Wh what wine glasses? Just bring glasses, you dork. Sit down, girls. Come on, I'll protect you from these bumpkins. Can you hear it, pigs? If anyone dares make a pass on these girls, you will taste my sword. I'll chop off everything, what I can, what I can't, and what I really should. Most respected and noble family in the city, you say. Alright, I like her too. This side of the table is good. This side of the table is not. Cheers. Oh, so strong. Thornberry is like this, yeah. Maybe it's better to drink some wine. Ha! Drink! The mercenary must be strong, hick. Mercenary? I know what your problem is. Our problem. Yeah, nobody respects you and doesn't want anything to do with you because you're women. Sorry? Let's make it clear. A mage, a priestess, and a lively girl with a dagger. Yeah, at least they came here together for a reason and decided to look for work. Am I right? Uh, well, yes, we'd like some work. And actually, you're more interested in drinking. However, men don't see your skills. They only see your boobs, hick. But I believe in your skill. Our skill? Yeah, because I'm Anastasia from this whatever family, by the way. Who are you? Diana, Svetlana, Felicia. Perfect. You know what the whatever is famous for? Yes, the... Oh, my lord. Right, yep, the whatever are defenders of whatever. Haha, ha, sounds funny. Was that laughing? I could barely hear it over the royalty free music. She is dead drunk. Have you just noticed? As Anastasia, as Anastasia, whatever, as Anastasia, whatever, I swear to protect whatever. Tee hee. Long story short, goblins are attacking peaceful tri. How did the goblins get involved? What? Maybe it's better to leave it to the guards? Ah, we can handle it. Those pathetic goblins are no match for us. We really need a job, but, but with our skills. It's just goblins. Of course, we should prepare carefully for the mission, but... Right, we need to get ready. I have to sharpen my sword and also buy some food in case we get hungry. Buy some beer, you mean? What for? We already have a priestess and a mage in our party. Well, you see... Come on, we're fellow comrades already. Say what you want to say. You know, I haven't mastered any combat spells yet. Well, I haven't mastered any spells at all. Svetlana does not know any healing prayers. Hey, I know a prayer. Yeah, but it's useless. It will be soon. Wait, what? Hey, but it's useless. It will be soon. That's not how... Talking work. Stop. Explain everything in detail. The thing is, I think I got it. Felicia has a spell book, but she needs to fill it with spells. Uh, we got kicked out. Uh, royalty freeze back again. That's sad, but don't lose heart. We can do it. You think so? Sure, goblins are easy peasy, lemon squeezy for me. Really? Yeah, I can kill anyone because I'm Hick, Anastasia, whatever. I think we need to get another, whatever, uh, Ronberry. Where's the waiter? He died. Look, he's gone to another table. Or two. Here you are. Slowest walking ever. Let's raise our glasses for the commander. For Commander Ves Vesislav. For Vesislav, it's a great honor to serve under your commander, the best swordsman I've ever known. Best swordsman? Is he... Ah, what kind of cocky idiots are they? Some soldiers and officers celebrating something. Oh, my lord. Campaign? What campaign? Are they going to kill goblins? Our goblins? That's not fair. I say you maybe they are not. Hey, you, look here. Do, 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 do. Uh, do you need something, young lady? Who the hell are you? Captain Vestas Love, Jewel Grad Republic Army, 8th Legion, Guards Platoon. Ah, and I'm from the Stricky Whatever family. Do you understand? So you've decided to take my goblins away? Eh, no way. Sorry. If you're a soldier, then protect the Republic from external enemies. External, got it. Why are you sitting here? Do you want to fight? Do you, do you love Rodania? You don't, right? So maybe you also... Don't respect the whatever. Let's fight. Anastasia, calm down. Don't listen to her. Don't worry. I won't unsheath the sword against the woman. What, you little? Anastasia, calm down. He's going to kill the goblins. What goblins is she talking about? Don't listen to her, please. If goblins pose danger, then I would be happy to help, but I'm afraid I, my squad will leave the city. Maybe you should go to the guard? Anastasia, do you hear? They're preparing for another mission. Come on. Well, if you say so. It is true. Sorry for the misunderstanding. It's not a problem. Have a good day, young ladies. Be careful and don't get caught by goblins. What, you think we can't do it, right? You think you're the only one who can hold a sword? You damned... Anastasia, please, take it easy, young lady. If you're so good, prove it. Get it out. Get it out now. 
Get out what? Your dick. Get your sword out. Commander, do you need help? Nah, it's just a misunderstanding. You refuse help from your soldiers? You can beat me with one hand? You think I'm weak? Girl, I'm not a weakling or a coward. I'm Anastasia, whatever. I did not say that you're weak. Enough of these insults. Get your sword out. Anastasia, please. I will show this dork what my family is worth. You will pay for it. I just... Where's my sword? You have to the table and let's leave it like that, okay? No way, wait here, you dork. Got it, I'll kick your ass right now. Collapse, right now. Ah. Uh, Anastasia, do you want some Rowanberry? Well, one glass won't harm me. I'll chop him into pieces. My brother will learn will learn about it and forgive me. Do you understand? Sure, of course. Everything will be fine. And she collapsed. I called it. Such a predictable story. Oh, she seems to have fallen asleep. Thank God. I'm sorry again, officer. Never mind. She's a funny one. We should take her to bed. I can barely hold my eyes open. We all had a difficult day. I think it's better to rent a room and relax. We're able to talk about our mission. I mean, I couldn't tell it's a horrible day because there's just this royalty-free music playing in the background. I'm just vibing to it, you know, but, you know, whatever. You still want to take part in this escapade? Why not? It's important for Anastasia to kill those goblins. and looks like she needs help. Money will come in handy and the whatever family has it. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Ouch, my head, damn it. What the hell was I saying yesterday? And where am I? Oh, I have to get out of here before someone wakes up. Stop the royalty-free music. It haunts my nightmares. Anastasia, have you woken up? Can someone turn the lights on, please? Um, good, good night. It's night, right? Have you seen my clothes? I put them in the wardrobe together with your sword. Oh, thanks. Are we gonna have a hot orgy? Like, I really hope we don't. Because I will uh, not be able to show that on YouTube. I've noticed that there is a bathroom here. Dawn is coming soon. We've been all been woken up. It wouldn't hurt to wash up and clean our clothes before we continue our journey. Um, our journey? Yeah, the goblins. Remember the conversation yesterday? Holy shit, the royalty music is driving me crazy. Fortunately, I do. Do not worry. Whatever it is, people are not mad at you. That's a relief. Soldier stopped in the city for only one day. Vesteslav didn't talk about this, but it looks like he and his squad are heading up north to the Foggy Pass. I've heard there's something brewing in Piedmont. One of the border countries is counties preparing to start a rebellion in Julgrad. Seems so holy shit, so much talking. Not from you, Svel... Svedl... Grab... Yeah, that's your name. I hope there won't be a war. Any other goal isn't to deal with the goblins. Well, we can, if we can. No, never. I have some urgent business. Yes, I've suddenly remembered. I have to go right now. Yeah, so she's... All right, here we go. She is the cliched uh, person who wants to be a good fighter, um, but is actually just a drunk who's unable to do anything. She's a terrible fighter. This girl is just a cool badass who just defies the stereotype of what she is to be unique and quirky. This is, you know, normal mage who's nerdy uh and this is insert main character cool all right mm, my clothes the wardrobe white right and you see by that description that i gave that's why these two are the most interesting because they actually have a character these two aren't anything even if these guys characters are cliche they're somewhat interesting uh, my clothes the wardrobe right anastasia i understand we aren't the best people for this and you're regretting that you offered us the job but give us a chance we'll do our best um, Anastasia, are you okay? She turned all green. No, I'm pretty sure she just shit herself. <clears throat> Romberry's trying to get out. Bring a basin. Oh, no. Do you feel better? Oh, wait, we have, we rented all of this? What? Or is this a public bathroom? Do you feel better? Yes, thank you. Do you want me to rub your back? Uh, I can't get the damn stain off. Isn't there any more soap here? Pretty sure this is stuff I'm not supposed to see. Uh, what goes on in the girls' bathroom stays in the girls' bathroom. They're at it again. Goblins are gonna kill us all. They won't spare anyone. We're all gonna die. Are you scared? Of course, this is suicide. But there are four of us, and your swordsman skill. I'm still afraid. I'm a coward. A coward from the family of brave warriors. Now you heard that. Are you satisfied? I've been afraid of everything since birth. Goblins, mice, even cockroaches. Because of this, my brother kicked me out. So you don't know how to use a sword? I know, but not when there's real danger. When we fence with my brother, I'm okay, but... But, in a real battle, I always lose my heath. I start to panic, scream, call for help, get in the way. I'm scared, called it. You never been in a serious fight? I just always ran away, even from the goblins. So you already fought the greenskin? It wasn't me, my brother fought them. He killed four of them, the rest ran away. And me, I could never take the sword. Luce just looked at me with just such disdain, and I just... I just burst into tears. When we got back home, I went into my bedroom and immediately started screaming like a fool. Why? Mouse, a disgusting hairy mouse on the carpet. Lucius got so angry that he kicked me out. He said I'm a disgrace to our family. 
But if you're really afraid, why did you decide to become a warrior? No one ever asked me. Everyone in the whatever family must be able to fight. I was trained since... This cutscene never ends. And this is where I have lost interest in the game entirely. I mean, I lost interest a while ago, but I was just pushing through. Alright, I can't even just push through. There's so much dialogue. The game hasn't stopped in so long. I'm just... I'm gonna... I have to end it here. The royalty-free music is giving me a headache. Alright, you've got to work on less uh, insane amounts of dialogue. There's so much dialogue and exposition. It's ridiculous. It's way too much. You need to cut back on that. You need to have musical changes. You need to have better sound design because this is grating on my ears and I'm going to probably explode and die. I'm going to be uh, humming this for the rest of the day. Yeah, I've gone insane. Uh, yeah, this game needs to be fleshed out. A lot of the scenes need to be shortened. Uh, streamlined, we need to be able to actually play the game. Like, I wish I could have played the game more. Uh, every instance of which I was playing the game, I was just spamming the enter button, which isn't really playing the game. It's kind of like playing the, you know, the Batman games, where you just spam the one button to kill all the enemies, but it looks cool at least. Like, in this game, it doesn't even look cool. Your just guy just moves across the screen and animation plays. It's not that cool. At least make it visually interesting if you're not going to make it actually interesting to play. So, visuals, gameplay... Sound design, story, there's some things to work on. Uh, and cool, at the end of the music, we will end this video. Thank you for watching my croutons. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, wash your hands. Hope everyone's having fun in quarantine. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.